morning, Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So today I'm um, going to do the, the cover for the Ulala in shades of blue. So what I've got is I've got some Amazon packaging. It's the one with the, um, it usually holds books in because when you open it, it has, um, it's closed like that and it has a flap in holding either a cd or a book and it's got corrug it's corrugated cardboard and this is what i like because i like to pick this off in parts not all of it um and then i paint over with gesso um and it just gives it that extra texture um i quite like this so what i did was i measured my journal on one side because I don't want it too uh, I want some of the lace and that sticking out I also measured it across there so I creased it down there and bent it over and then I took where I wanted the spine the, the width of the spine and you know just sort of like edged it with a with actually one of these and then folded it over and then I measured that side and then just measured this side and cut it and as you can see there's lots of other um, bits where it can bend now then what I did was I just cut it to the height I wanted it and this is the piece I cut off now the piece I cut off will stick down there and what that does is it just reinforces the spine because although I don't mind the folder, the, the cover itself being a bit floppy, um, I want the spine to be quite sturdy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did with the spring journal. I'm going to stitch through here um, once it's all done with a three hole pamphlet stitch, stitch the signature in and I'm going to put beads um through it so that it's all nice and I want sort of like tassels and things like that okay so I'm not going to stay <laughs> I will do this offline but what I do is I'm not really bothered in, inside but this is how I pull parts of the it off um you have to be careful because you can you can go through if you go through not to worry it can be fixed i did go through somewhere um there when i was using something else so i just put my little exacto knife or whatever you want to call it and just lift bits off and rip it there was a sticky label here so this is quite sticky um, so I definitely want to get this off and it is it does take a little while um, somebody says to me if I you know wet it a bit but I don't want to get it too wet but what I did do was uh, um, I've split the card the, the top layer in parts so it's easy to take it off in in bits so i will come back to you um once i've taken enough of this top layer off and i've gessoed it because what i am going to do is i am going to paint it and i do want it in different shades of blue so i'm still thinking about how i'm going to do that i maybe just want to use some mica powders acrylic paint um sort of like the um, cosmic shimmer um, powders, you know, the ones that, that leave the sort of like the, the lusters on them because I would like it navy blue with some other. So it's it will be a proper mixed media um, type folder um, cover, sorry, not folder. It's um, 
I get mixed up with my words when I'm trying to concentrate. So I will see you come back when it's all done. See you in a bit. All right, so that's me. I've done the, the cover. It is a bit floppy. Um, I've covered it with gesso. I've put the extra piece of cardboard into the, the spine. Um, and I've decided that this one's going to be the front. So now what I'm going to do is put some paint. And this is just acrylic paint. Um, and I'm gonna... So I've got several shades of blue there. I've got cobalt, um, ultramarine. Cerulean blue, black, and I've got a pewter. And I'm going to put some white. The light shades first. Ooh, that's bright. hi i'm back i've done it i've also used um some alcohol inks just note to self um wear rubber gloves because that's going to be on there for a a couple of days acrylic paint comes off no problem so what i did do was i put a couple of these um midnight blue cosmic shimmer pixie powders and this give this kind of um effect I did sprinkle some, um, drop some alcohol inks on um, and they just spread out. I also put a gold, um, which you'll just see the odd, I don't know whether I can, if you can see. Yeah, so it's quite mottled. I quite like it. Um, although it would be a good um, mermaid <laughs> journal cover. <laughs> and I think next time I do anything like that, I will wear gloves. Um, obviously, I used a lot of water on it. Um, it came through, so it does need um, to dry out. And I don't know whether you can see the, the pixie dusts are... Um, you can see the, the glimmer on them more on the spine and that part of the back is a little bit I'm trying to look through the camera lens and there you can see so it does give quite a good um, effect but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry. Uh, I'm going to put some clear gesso over it 
uh, on that medium and then I'm going to decide what else I want to put on. Hi, so that's me back. So what I've done is I've done a kind of decoupage. This is dry and what I did was I printed off um, on mulberry paper so it's like rough on one side and smooth on the other so I printed it off on the the smooth side and then I was just able to just rip around like what you would normally do with a napkin and then I've used um, that medium now it doesn't um, because it's blue paper it's it doesn't go as see-through um, I don't have any white paper but it was just something I tried and I quite like the effect so I've got butterfly and what I did was I you know put it I don't mind because it's in the corrugated it's not as, as smooth um, so this is what we're doing right Dora come on out the way my dogs want to sit at my feet so I've got another couple of bits here um, and it's just some things that I've printed off that I normally use in my digis and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my one I put the matte medium on the, the on the cover and then put it on that one I put the matte medium on the back of the butterfly and it seems to sit a bit better so I'm going to do that this time And it's all right if you get any matte medium on the cover because I am going to cover it with, with the matte medium. So you can put this down. And this seems to work a little bit better. So And the, the thing is with the mulberry paper you can print onto it um well it, it goes to, i've got a canon that i've been using um i have an, an epson i've not tried it with the epson and the mulberry paper that i've got is it's in 12 by 12 form so it was um years ago i bought it um it's paper mania or do crafts and do crafts don't um don't exist now um, but paper mania they still still sell a product and they you see that's white there because it's like the the fibers probably use a bit more than what you would normally use with napkins that's fine but I'm quite pleased with this and then you can work it into the I was just just gently working it into the the corrugated Don't press too hard um, because it will rip.
that would work um, quite well on on non corrugated. As you can see, that's not corrugated there. And then we have a bit Well, that's fine. So what I'll do is I'll continue to, to put some matte medium on this. And then I can do the inside. I think we're going to cover that with um, I think what I might use is no, it's going to have to be a, a full sheet I think. Two full sheets. Maybe yeah, or I might just do it with some cabbage dyed paper, um, that might be good. And that's the sun starting to come in, so I need to um, close the blinds. So that's everything, so you can see. So it's best to put the matte medium or the glue, whatever you're going to stick it on, on the underneath. Of, so I printed it on the smooth side and then this is a rough side and I've glued it on this side. So the glue seems to um, soak in better. My nails are terrible. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get some bleach or something. Acetone might take it off. Terrible. Yeah, and put that down. So I hope you get something out of this. Um, if you want to carry on with the journey with me, please subscribe. Um, this is coming to the end of this journal. Ooh la la in shades of blue. Um, I've not fully decided what journal I'm doing next. I've, um, I think maybe I'll go to the grunge scenes as I'm in a a mixed media grungy <laughs> grungy meat mind so i'll see you in the next video bye